having already cleared up some of the questions around the minimum requirements for little company, I wanted to check how other video cards, also lacking power connectors, handle this late 2023 in the title. And if the previous video made use of only Radeon video cards, in this one we're focusing on the experience provided by the following GeForce cards. The Fermi GT730, as a way to check if the Fermi architecture shared the fate of Terascale 2. The GT1030, as one of the most widespread display adapters. And the GTX 1050 Ti, the most powerful video card that I own and is still powered by the PCIe slot alone. Since the previous video pointed out little change in performance with screen resolution, you're not losing out on much if we cover only 1080 and 720 resolutions. As for the test system, this time around we're sticking with the Z230 workstation, with the by now quite old Xeon E3 1241v3 aka i7-4770 CPU. I did not change the RAM configuration, so we're still using 32GB of DDR3 and dual channel at 1600MHz. At full 1080 resolution, to no surprise, the GTX 1050 Ti performed the best, with 91 FPS for the average and 66-41% lows. The GT1030 also managed to perform well, with 50 FPS for the average and 35-41% lows. For a PvE title, this is perfectly fine. The surprise came from the GT730. After seeing the HD6670 crashing in the previous video, I had little hope that the Fermi card would run. But run it did. Well, limping would be the more appropriate word, since the average FPS didn't make it to the double digits. 720 resolution provided only a 10% FPS increase, despite having the pixel count. This happened uniformly across all the cards tested. And if anything, it got the Fermi GT730 into double digits average FPS. These videos on this game pointed out that while the performance is GPU limited, the user has little leverage over improving the FPS, except swapping video cards. This is fine for an early access title, especially since even 12 years old cards can play the game, and CPUs going as far as Sandbridge i5s will also do just fine. The Fermi GT730 managed to get a leg up on the HD 6670. The AMD enthusiasts that were quite happy to bash Nvidia for supporting only the current rendering APIs of the time should take a hard look at AMD as well, because Fermi supports more than Terascale 2, and these two competing architectures were contemporary. Anyway, no point in dwelling on too much, this video is done and I hope you liked it. Thank you for your time and I'll see you.